Okay. Let's go once again. I believe that we have entered the um, open world section of the game here after completing the prologue investigation. All right. Ask the receptionist about my... Okay, I missed that. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is about where we left off. Okay. Uh, well, let's first check. The Mind Palace. My imaginary friend John. Oh. Well, that explains the teleporting, I guess. All right. Return here. Uh... Right. So that's done. Apparently. Um. Th this doesn't seem relevant to the mother's love case. This is about the stuff that we were just doing. Um, John is over here. Okay, yes. Meeting the medium. All right, what are we doing here? I arrived at Cordona, the island where I spent my childhood, accompanied by my only friend, John. It is late evening, but I have a room booked at the Hotel Il Palazzo de Luso, the Palace of the Luso. I simply need to check in with the receptionist. Okay, I did that. I spent one night at Il Palazzo de Luso and fell into a criminal investigation. That's not how I imagined my time on Cordona. The thrill of the case helped to distract me from darker thoughts. Now it's time to go to the cemetery in Miner's End. There's a figure of a crying angel on Mother's Tombstone. Okay, so this is an open world game. I did actually not expect that. Um, I mean, I've never played... I think I have played one of the Sherlock Holmes games in my time. Some time ago. <clears throat> don't recall a thing about it. Um, but... Sometime, um, but I don't remember it being open world. There's the hotel, there's me, what are you? The Grand Soray Traders Alley. Um, Greek Bridge, there's the cemetery. Caesar's Bridge, right? Interesting. Cordona Chronicle. Wow, this is a really big map. It's not at all what I expected. Um, I guess let's walk a bit and see how long travel takes. That explains why I have a compass now. Uh, didn't make much sense before, but I suppose I, I see it. Can't talk to that guy. Oh, there's a carriage. Apparently travel takes quite a bit of time. Can I go by foot? No, I cannot go through the gates. Carriage runner, driver, and another. Quite a view. Interesting hopscotch spiral. And it's okay, so it's not an open world game. It's. Come on, Sherry. Why walk when we can ride? Well, because I wanted to see if I could, John. Um, all right. Well, I suppose. Um, I don't know how open... A free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. I don't know how open world it is if I can't just walk around, but that's fine. Or maybe we're not quite at the open world part. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? The funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. All right. I thought you wanted to remember Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Yeah. Quite all right. I see. So, Sherlock's 
chains seem to have rearranged themselves. And then having the chain on the side, uh, decided to loop it between my legs. That belt chain to go with the wrist chain and the breast pocket chain and the tie chain and a tie clip. I... Uh, interesting choices in the character design. But I see that John is also sporting some sort of leather harness of some kind. It's an interesting fashion choice there, John. It's not a gun rig. It's just a leather harness of some kind. Which, I mean, you know, consenting adults and all, but uh, maybe keep your fetishes to yourself there, John. I don't need to see that out in public. What's this on the side of the screen? Uh, oh, it's on, on the sides and the top. Some kind of... What is, it? what is that meant to be? Is it a level? These little... doobly-doos on the side. I don't know. Um, I think it was asking me to pin something in the case book so I could ask people about my mother, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this here. John asks if I remember my mother's funeral. I don't... But I can try to recall something. Pin. And yeah, moving on. Let's ask random people if they remember me crying at my mother's funeral. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. And your craft is sweeping cemeteries. I seem to have run on always now. You seem busy. I'll ask this guy over here. He seems like he's not busy. Could you help me? His Majesty came out of his palace. I know nothing. Can I at least get a toke? Can I go into the crypt? No. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Alright, and now I'm walking. I was running run, uh, automatically, now I am walking. Your money doesn't impress me. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking? About what? And dressed as what? Interesting fashion choice here as well. Some sort of tool harness. Very curious choices. Uh, anyway, so the who, what, who, what, 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 I see. I'm dressed too fancy to talk to these gentlemen. They don't respect my money. Right. I don't know why I'm, I was randomly walking and uh, running and then walking. Hey there. Do you like my suit? Can you satisfy my curiosity? Will you cry if I don't answer your questions? What is with the accents of these people? Some of them are British, some of them are Haitian, some of them are Jamaican. Can I ask you a question? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. This isn't working. You might need a different tack. I don't want me to start beating them with my... Um, oh, here we have somebody who's grieving. They might be more appreciative of my drip. If I can get up in there. What the fuck? It's like, sometimes I'm running, sometimes I'm walking. I can't get in there. Alright then. And now I'm running again. This is getting stupid. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a cul-de-sac. Oh, what's this? Somebody's painting the tomb, eh? Can't interact with it at all. Interesting pastime, painting in cemeteries. Oh, I thought there was more up here. Okay, is there more over here? No. All right.
sympathetic. Will you be yes, sympathetic? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Okay. Try a different tack. All right. Well, I don't have anything in my wardrobe, so I can't change my. Cl oh, John's favorite suit. All right. No. Oh. Um. A bunch of asters. Okay. Uh, Mother's grave has an angel on it. Yeah. A crying angel. Okay. Is that what I'm looking for then? Crying angel. Angel. This seems to not be the correct section of the cemetery. Yes. This is not the correct section. Okay, and I can't get over here. There we go. This appears to be the Christian slash Catholic whatever section, and I'm walking again. Is that supposed to be the crying angel? Okay, I can't quite get to it then. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Oh, for God's sake. And I'm sure it will come back to you. Oh. I see. I'm supposed to do the thing. Alright, gotcha. Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. <sighs> okay. I thought you wanted to remember. Yeah, shut up, John. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Um, was there a thing over here? Did I see a thing? Yes, there's a thing. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastor said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. Yeah. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. Now I can you go remembered in. everything. It will get easier soon. There's a pocket watch on here. Violet Holmes. John casts a shadow. He can't be an imaginary friend. Another wonderful day of advising for me here. So it seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Good question. A mysterious visitor. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. <laughs> this watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. That's good condition? Doesn't look very good. Somebody lit a candle. A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Your brother. Are you not in the slightest bit interested? Okay. Anything else? This is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? So now do I need to begin interviewing people? Yeah. Pinned. Hey, yo, sweepy boy. You see anybody over there? May I ask you something? Like half an hour ago? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. All right, then. 
What about you, smoky boy? May I ask you something? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Oh, jeez. Bored. Call me when you find the answer. Oh, shut the fuck up, John. Do, 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 do. Oh, now that I can get back there, I can ask that dude. Yep. Oh, or maybe. Okay, there we go. Yo. Could you help me? Don't be angry with me, sir. But I don't know. Why would I be angry? Uh, what about you? You're new. Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. And I am magic. Look at I can float. I wonder how long I can float. Oh, not that long, apparently. Okay. Uh, how about you? Do you know anything about this? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else can help better, sir. Goodness, goodness. Okay. This is getting to get a little bit ridiculous here. Could you help me? You shouldn't have left your mansion. You won't get any answers from me. Everyone's <sighs> looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know? What you're Can you doing? satisfy my curiosity? So you think if you have money, we should bow to your whims? <sighs> no, I think you should bow to my whims because I am dangerously violent. Quite unpredictable. It's better to appease me than to risk my wrath. Okay. Um... <laughs> Most difficult investigation. Seems pretty clear to me it was your brother, but I don't know what else to say. Okay. Excuse you. me, just one question. Why should I care about your troubles when you don't care about mine? Hey, who says I don't care about yours? Tell me all about him, buddy. I want to hear all about you. Does it have anything to do with your broom? I'm very interested in brooms. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. So he's short. Okay, we're on the trail. I could have sworn I looked to see if there was anything else there, and I didn't see anything. I don't know what the f fuck if I missed it or what. About to tell me the make and model of tire, but let me assure you, I do not care. Then shut up. That was going to be very impressive. Come on, then. The trail continues ahead. Oh, it's one of them old timey bikes. There's a name for those bikes, I just don't recall what it is right now. But I believe it's an eponymous title, so the inventor. And there it be. He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. Some kind of sheath? It's stained with oil paint. The painter, right. Yep, the tombs. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful yes. vaults. Yes. At the very least, you you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. All right. Why did you read it twice? The hospital crypts. If memory serves, <sighs> they're located at the far end of the cemetery, around an old tree. Hold on a sec, I forgot to turn off the notifications for my emails. I noticed the audio sucked in the first video, and I kept getting the dinging every time an email would come in, so... I forgot to turn it off this time. Alright. And then paintbrushes, right? No? So there's one okay, cute. A portable easel was kept there. Uh -huh. 
Oops. Do you think he'd paint my portrait? Maybe, John. Maybe. Oh, it's that. Re Be nice, Sherry. Mr. Holmes. Did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was abuzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man. Never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. Um, what sort of art gallery? Does gallery feature more than just portraiture? <coughs> oh, of course. We display landscapes, sculpture, modern pieces too. I am sure we have something that will move you. You must stop by. Only music moves me, I'm afraid. We have simply not found your artist yet. Someone whose work hits you in your core. You're still young. I'm sure we'll find them. Did you visit my mother's tomb? Come to possess my mother's pocket watch. Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I... I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I've forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed on either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I'll leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever you need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. The archives at the City Hall Police Station at Cordona Chronicle may hold key information for your case. When investigating a piece of evidence, think about which location is the most appropriate to visit. Okay. Um, a man wearing shoes, approximately okay, five and a half feet tall. Werner Vogel. All right. All right, so uh, police investigation. So I should go to the police station to get information if there was indeed an investigation. Curio. All right. Is that that? That's that, I suppose. Police station it is, then. To the police station. Which is... There's the Chronicle, I believe. Yes. Uh, here's the police station. And this is what... It's the cemetery. Alright, there's two-way markers for the cemetery. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know if we're going to be doing this on foot or if we're going to get another ride, but if I'm doing it on foot, left on River Street, right on Harbor Street, and the police station is across the square. 
corner of Knights Road and Harbor. seem to be more trails than roads, but all right. Emperor's Aqueduct. Oh, those are fast travel stations, I see. This meant to be Harbor Road. This is supposed to be a road. This is supposed to be Harbor Road. Here is the Greek Bridge, if I remember correctly. No, this is Caesar's Bridge. Wow, this is quite a bridge. Um, interesting. Interesting. You know... know if uh... Da, da, da. yeah wasn't sure if Cordona Island was a real island somewhere I mean this says that it's fictional however there is a Cordona Island there is one, or, uh, sorry, Cardona Island, but that's near Puerto Rico. But I believe that this is supposed to be a fictional Mediterranean island. Which the architecture sort of jives with, doesn't it? Caesar's Bridge, look at this huge aqueduct up here, ruins, spanning this, uh, Weird gorge. Actually, the gorge is kind of strange for the whole island thing. This must be an inlet. I can't see the ocean from here, but I guess it would have to be, wouldn't it? Nice carpet, my man. Oh. Well, that's not... <laughs> that's not how you do that. I'm assuming those are supposed to be... I mean, they don't look like wastewater. I'm assuming that they're supply lines, but they're literally inches beneath the cobblestones. Um, no wonder they're broken, I guess. All right. PlayStation. Over here on the left, across from the park corner of Night and Harbor. Hey, music. Hey. Nice. The, uh, the streets are a little bit sparse. Um, I mean, they're active and there are people out. Um, but uh, not a lot. Not a lot at all. You're an interesting looking fellow. Who the hell are you? My curiosity. No, sir. I don't know anything about that. Oh, you're a police officer. I see. Anyway, um, move it on. We're almost there. That must be the Bailey. Yeah, another street musician. Yeah, there's there's people and they're about and they're doing their things, but uh, there's not a lot of them. Not a lot of them. Uh, you know, actually, speaking of Cardona Island, this this kind of does remind me of Puerto Rico a little bit. Even even the number of people that are out, you know. Um, in San Juan, when I was there, in the middle of the day, um, there were there were a lot of streets that kind of looked like this. Anyways, here's the police station. I can tell because there's so many police outside. Yeah. Let's go check them records for some reason. Stark, do this. Stark, do that. I'm not a clerk, damn it. How am I supposed to get those records now? 
Yes, what is it? Would you like to report a crime? No, I wouldn't. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I want to use the police archives. Wouldn't we all? I'm serious. So am I. Officer Logan locked himself inside and he's not letting anyone in. <laughs> okay, uh, what happened? What happened exactly? A tailoress from Scaladio has been robbed. Logan spent two whole days at the shop sketching the thief and she still insists that it's all wrong. That shrew drove him up the wall, she did. Okay, why the archives though? Why the archives? <clears throat> that stall everyone's work. You bet it will. He's looking up all the thieves in Cordona over the past decade. Say one thing for Logan. He's persistent. Okay. Would you mind if I talk to this tailoress? I could get you the sketch in no time. Get off your high horse, mister. You think you're better than our sketch artist? Actually, I'm quite certain I am. Let me prove it. Well, I see no harm in it, as long as it gets Logan out of there. In fact, I need to look up some records too. Here's the address. Good luck. Okay. What's this? Uh, uh, um, please, sir, yep, yeah. okay. Alright, whatever. I don't, don't care. Um. Help the sketch artist. That's Master of Disguise. Please need to get a sketch of the thief. We robbed Mrs. Nini's atelier. The sketch artist was unable to capture the likeness of the culprit, but my disguise skills may prove more effective. Okay. Intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way in Scaladio. Here's Knights Road. And Trinity Way, where is that? There's Trinity Way. Uh, so just around the corner, right here. Um, yes. Okay, just down here. Somewhere hereabouts. What is this? Okay. Are you Mrs. Nini? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm here to sketch the thief for the police investigation. Oh, what another one. I hope you'll be more patient than the previous sketches, signore. Um, let's do it differently. I suggest we do it differently. You have a great many clothes here, haven't you? Why, of course, but they're not for sale. I only do tailoring and mending. No matter. I'll attempt to disguise myself as the thief, and you'll tell me if I get it right. As you wish, Signor Holmes. Okay, so what do you look like? Can you describe the thief for me? He was all ugly and beat up looking. An utter rascal if ever I'd seen one. He gave me a nasty look from behind his glasses and then made himself scarce. And that's it? Could you be more specific? He was a total villain, I told you. How much more specific do you want me to be? All right, never mind. Where can I find the clothes? They're in my workshop at the back. Uh, be careful, won't you? Okay. Well, that was something. Just gonna poke around a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Ah, so you have a collection of heads. A woman of taste. I too collect heads. Okay. Everybody loves covering up their mirrors. How does this work? How do these work? Whatever. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I thought it was uh I thought it was about to take a serious turn here for a moment. The game was going to become an alien abduction story. Alright. What am I doing? Um, oh, there's a box here. 
Uh, if you don't dress uh, like a shrike, has a penchant for disguise. So visit the wardrobe menu to change his outfit. Six wardrobe items acquired. Anything else? Oh. Pick everything up. Leave nothing. Leave nothing. There we go. There's some more. What else we got? What else we got? I think we got it. Oh, oh, look at this old chap putting on airs like some Italian doge. Why don't you disguise yourself as him instead? We have a job to do, John. Yeah. Come on, at least do him first. You're not a very good influence, John. You're very much unlike your literary counterpart. Um... Why would I do this? An old man with sideburns wearing a white suit and a top hat. White suit. Top hat. Sideburns. Doesn't look anything like him. Okay. Something isn't right. Okay. What can I do for you, Sherlock? Good prank, John. Good, good one. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to pin it first. And uh, oh. Makeup to make myself look older. Yeah. Uncle Giovanni? Oh, signore, you look exactly like my uncle. He's the grandson of the Doge of Venice, you know. I knew you reminded me of someone. You are as alike as two peas. Uh, perhaps you have some royal blood in you, too. That is flattering, I suppose, but I sincerely doubt it, Mum. Andrew, he's a doge. Now that's a deduction. He's not an actual doge. If you say so, my lord, the doge. Okay. So, that was fun. All right. Um, utter rascal. And he was wearing glasses. Um, criminal chic. Yes, I suppose that is what we're after. Um, it is like glasses, square glasses, round glasses. I guess we'll go with that. And fake bruises. He said he was all beat up. <laughs> he said he was all beat up, if I remember correctly. So let's go with that. Your face is too innocent now. What do you mean, too innocent? There was something evil about his face. Like a moustache. Yes, the kind that all villains twirl as they plot their evil plans. I'd say that not all villains wear moustaches, but I get your point, ma'am. Oh, why not? A pencil moustache. Is that true master of disguise thing? Is that just going to no, be there? Those clothes are wrong. He was dressed in a very fancy beige suit. Must have stolen it from someone. No doubt about it. All right. I've got it. Okay. Seems like the opposite of what you told me before, but that's fine. Was it Rocky Rococo? He was wearing a hat. Didn't I tell you about the hat? It didn't go well with his suit. That man had no dress sense at all. Well, what did it look like? Oh, just a regular hat, you know, black. A regular hat. A bowler hat, I assume. Ah, it's you. I mean, he 
He's him! He's him! Excellent. Now I can make a sketch and take it to the police. Yes, sir. Please do. That rascal is still on the loose. I hope they are better at catching than sketching. Before I go, Mom, are you quite certain that you don't have any clothes to sell? Well, I suppose you can take the police uniform. An officer forgot it here years ago, and I don't have any use for it. If you want to buy clothes, visit the Outfitters. You can find them all over Codorna. I hear they even do free rentals now. Let me show you where the nearest one is. Thank you very much. Ice Cream John. Police uniform? What was she talking about? Is that something I have now? Widow's outfit, ice cream man suit. There's the police uniform. Black deluxe suit. That's uh, also an interesting look. The Slavic Gangster's got the stripes on the side. And Adidas logo. Ice Cream Man. Top of the morning to you. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I tell you, I'm not a fan of any of these outfits. <laughs> not a fan of not a fan of any of them. But at least this one has um yeah, it's still got this one sleeve rolled up. It's very strange. Uh, I'm going to go with the Slavic Gangster. Honestly, it's the best fit. <laughs> it's the best one. Um, oh. We got the hats to go along with it. Oh, what's, it, wait, what's this over here? What are these? Are they supposed to be like... Different categories. Okay, so, I mean, it has something to do with the outfit. Hey, John, you can be the ice cream man. How about that? Okay, that true master of disguise thing is still there. I, I don't think that's going away. Alright, what am I doing now? Um, all right, I need a sketch, yeah? Take it back to Constable Stark. There we go, Portrait of the Thief, we already got it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, the tracksuit suits the amount of running I'm going to be doing in this game, so. Officer Stark, here's a picture. I've spoken to the tailoress and made a sketch of the thief. It was child's play. No, really? And she didn't give you any trouble? No, no trouble at all. She was quite tolerable. Huh. Who would have thought? Hey, Logan, we've got the sketch. Come on out. Can I use the archives now? Well, they're generally not accessible to the public. But you really helped us out, so I'll just turn a blind eye. I appreciate it, officer. What did you say your name was? Holmes? Come and see me after you're done. I may have a proposition for you, Mr. Holmes. Okay. Um, archive. Inspect orders. It's the jail. Archive. Oh my god. Um, okay, there we go. Crimes, subjects, evidence, districts. Okay, how about um, subjects, suspects? Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, property crimes. Oop. 
Really? Um, okay. That's the district. I remember that. What the hell? Oh. What the f... What? There's the sketch. It was a property crime, right? Search for, and that's definitely the district. Okay. Um, well, all right. I need a minute anyway. I got an advising appointment, so I'll think about it. All right, and we're back. Um, That's right. I was searching police archives. So I got this. Hold on. Let me go to the case. Oh. Oh, that investigation's done. The Master of Disguise. So I don't have to do anything else for it. Um, this is what I was going to search for. All right, so Mima, 10 years ago, Grand Saray. All right, so District Grand Saray. Um, victims of violent crimes? Um... Okay. Case of Violet Holmes. Stoneman Manor Grants Array. No documents inside. There really was a police investigation, but all the files are missing. Okay. That's not particularly helpful. Um, did I choose the right evidence? Nothing. Okay. The only information that gives me, the only new information that gives me, I have a date, which I already had from the gravestone, and Stonewood Manor. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm remembering. There's Stonewood Manor, I assume? John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona. And there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? The memory was vague. Our? A, a mere flash. I have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's do it. Okay. Then I guess I know where I'm... Well, I, mean, I don't know where I'm going, but I know what I'm looking for. Um, Grand Saray. I think I need to ask around about it. Okay, so it's down here somewhere. Bridge, church on a hill, manor must be somewhere nearby. Bridge, Greek bridge, church on the hill. Well, this isn't a topographic map, so. But this street could be following around a hill. It could be a church over there, but that's not a Grand Saray. And this is the hotel? Yeah. Um, are any of the streets named, like, Church Road or anything? Well, here we have Silent Way and Joy Avenue. 
Leblanc. Silent Way seems to connect to the graveyard, so that makes sense. Belvedere. Gastro. Okay. Can I fast travel back? Apparently not. What's this? Oh, this is the closest outfitter she was talking about. Okay. Well, we're heading south. Um, or is that all I have time for? Yeah, I've been playing about an hour. Seems to go to places I need to pause. Take a little bit of a break. Wait for my next appointment. So, um, if you tune back in, we'll see you next time. Have yourself a good day.